Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for expiration Friday in May. So this is going to be for Friday, May 16th, 2014. Typically what you see uh, when you go into expiration is, is the market kind of puts everything where, where it wants it to uh, kind of minimize the uh, effect of the uh, of the options on the books. So we're going we're gonna to see less less uh, signals than we typically would with this kind of movement in the market. The S&P is down about 18. The uh, NASDAQ size down about 31 handles. So even though we're seeing some good movement in the market, we're not going to see it, see it in evidence in the scans, which is pretty typical. So here in the NASDAQ patch, there's not too much here as far as scans. There are a couple deviations. We've got a volume deviation in Adobe. Uh, First Solar uh, is uh, lower by 2 and a quarter percent trading around 60. Uh, Kramerica and Kramer and his, and his minions are long. He was pounding the tables at 70. So they are uh, hopefully averaging down or even better, getting out. Uh, SanDisk is pretty weak. There's a lot of volume today. Micron, MU. Keep an eye on that one and the, uh, and the commodity type semiconductor uh, names uh, for the remainder of this week and especially next week uh, after we get into the new options cycle. Moving on to the financials. No signals. Uh, everything's kind of paired off. There is some decent volume now in a couple names. U.S. Bank Corp, good volume. Morgan Stanley, good volume. And Morgan Stanley, they're just beating that down again, uh, back down to the uh, lower lower fringe of that trading range. MetLife also has a uh, has a volume bump. There is some some decent weakness here, but nothing actually qualifies for a deviation. Bank of America is 1.7 percent below the open, um, but you know just just missing from the <laughs> deviations, which is pretty typical going into expiration. Energy names, um, there's some movement, but there's no real uh, no real uh, no real uh, signals or, or uh, qualified deviations. Do a volume bump here in BP, um, Arch Coal, uh, light volume, but that was 2% below the day's open. There's some weakness in uh, some of the middlings, uh, CHK, uh, Chevron, and Devon, all pretty weak, as is uh, PBR. Moving on to the generals, here's where we have some signals, but you can see they're basically paired off. A couple on the buy side, a couple on the sell side, so that just kind of washes out. Dow Chemical, uh, pretty weak today on a volume bump. That one's 3% below the day's open. Walmart, um, it's kind of conflicted right here. We've got a buy and a sell signal that'll, that will likely uh, write themselves before the close, and that's got a volume bump, but there's no other deviations on here. Moving to the housing sector, Home Depot's got a contra candle. That one's been pretty weak. Um, last few days, hobnanian has got a contra candle as well, and Lowe's is uh, sp sporting a volume bump, but unfortunately we didn't get an RPS condition in that one. Uh, so I'm going to keep an eye on that and see if one develops before the close. Uh, UPS has a downside CPS with a volume bump. Some of the uh, some of the transporta transportation names are fairly weak, and some of the big uh, big late cycle stuff, uh, especially the economically uh, sensitive ones. Are uh, pretty weak. John Deere, um, Caterpillar, whatnot. Even Exxon Mobil is getting hit really hard today. Um, Exxon Mobil has a 9.139 on the seeker, by the way, and today is the first real uh, definitive cross through the 10 EMA on the daily chart. So that's definitely worth watching. Um, as far as the commodities go, not too much going on here. Potash got a volume bump, but no signal. Volume bump in silver wheat, and that was a little weak, but no signal. Barrick Gold's pretty weak here. That's uh, almost 3% below the day's open, and uh, pretty weak. Uh, relative to its uh, to its uh, VWAP, contra candle and ACH, but uh, that's about it. So, you know, as we talked about at the beginning of the report, you know, we're not going to see a lot of signals today as we're going into options expiration. Uh, be on guard for a gap tomorrow. They they will probably have a bias to fill the gap tomorrow, but we'll have to see what direction it is if they give us one. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.